How's it going everyone? Lucian Sword here and I am so excited because Avatar The Last Airbender has come to Brawlhalla officially. This is so legit. It is amazing. I can't believe we're here. Like, man, Brawlhalla has come so far. Oh, it's such a good day, guys. Check out the UI. We have the air, the water, the earth, the fire. So cool. The music is cool, too. It's a mix of the Avatar theme and the Brawlhalla theme. They always do a great job on the music. So, guys, let's take a look at all the new stuff. Uh, first of all, just for logging into the game. For free, you get this Avatar, the Tale of Iroh. So definitely log in during the Avatar event. The skins and everything else will be in the game after the event. They're not going anywhere, but I don't know about this avatar. You might only be able to get this avatar in the next couple weeks just for logging in. So definitely get that. But let's go ahead and take a look at the store because there is a lot to look at, guys. Let's just go ahead and start with the, the crossovers. We have Toph as Core, which obviously it's Core, right? Toph is like the best earthbender and such a cool character she's actually blind um, but she can see with like vibrations and her feet and everything that's why she's barefoot i've actually seen the avatar series all the way through at least twice it is an amazing series if you've never seen it i highly recommend such a good show amazing characters it's so funny uh, some parts will make you cry some parts will make you laugh so much it's just such a great story. We have Prince Zuko <laughs> as Hattori. And look at, he even has the blue demon mask or whatever, uh, blue spirit, sorry. that That is so cool. We're gonna go ahead and get that as well. We're gonna play all three of these guys. And not only do they look different, their signatures look a lot different too. They're still the same signatures, but they just look different. And last but not least, we have Aang, the avatar himself. <laughs> I laugh at gravity all the time. Haha, <laughs> gravity. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. This is such a great day, guys. I can't even contain my excitement. It doesn't even feel real to me that Avatar is in Brahalla. It'd be like just as... It'd be just as crazy if they added, like, Dragon Ball Z or Naruto. Like, it's just crazy that they added Avatar. We're definitely going to play all these skins, but that's not all. Let's check out the KO effect. The Cabbage Merchant. <laughs> My cabbages! Oh, uh, that's an automatic buy. One thing I wish that they would do in Brahalla is when I buy something new like this, instead of just having an option of done, I want an option for equip now. I want to equip it now. Just wish there was a quick option to do that. So, But anyways, let's go ahead and equip it. Uh, KO effect. We're, we're going full cabbage merchant today. Um, as far as emotes... We have one new emote, and it's Momo eating his little cookie or whatever that is. <laughs> Definitely going to get the Momo emote. I love Momo. And uh, we're going to put the Momo emote to, I think, uh, let's replace the BCX drums with Momo. And we also have the Appa sidekick. And apparently, this is the largest sidekick in Brawlhalla, size-wise. So... Just a little bit of knowledge there. Let's go ahead and equip Appa. Now, guys, I do have codes for the Avatar crossovers, the skins. And I will be dropping them today and probably in another episode as well. So definitely look in the comments for those codes. Ah, uh, yes, the Avatar avatars. <laughs> oh, man. So we have water, earth, fire, air, and then the blue spirit. The only animated one looks amazing. And then, of course, sleeping Appa. I love all of them, to be honest. I really do. I don't know which uh, team I would be on. Are you team water, team earth, te team fire, or team air, guys? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, I already ha I just got this Tale of Iroh, so I'm going to use this one for now. But we might, we might buy a couple of these later. Definitely worth it. And then, oh, man, I bet you guys were thinking, man, where's Sokka? Where's Katara? Where's Iroh, Suki, Azula? They're all right here. They're not They're not skins, but they're here. They're, they're emoji skins. I do like them a lot. 
You know what, guys? Let's just get them all. Let's just get them all. I, you know what? Because normally I wouldn't because I already have a lot of them that I like. This one's amazing. Azula is such a rage, rageaholic. She's known for her insane temper. She's also known for like the blue lightning and everything. She's an extremely powerful firebender. Kind of crazy too. Prince Zuko's sister, by the way. Suki, Zuko's girlfriend. Also a warrior of uh, Kiyoshi, I believe. Definitely gonna get that. Iroh's one of my favorite characters in the entire series. He is uh, Prince Zuko's uncle. He is the brother to the Fire Lord, the king of the firebenders. Super good guy. One of the best characters in the game, in my opinion. Now I actually have to go and equip all of those emojis. Like I said, I wish there was an equip now. Uh, is that all of them? Uh, I guess it is. All right, cool. But did we equip Iroh? Yeah, we did. Okay, we're, 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 we're ready. I think we're ready, guys. They do have a new game mode right now, or rather a new map. It's actually just free-for-all, uh, but it's on the new map, the Air Temple. So let's go ahead and uh, check it out, the new map, the Air Temple map. Uh, here's our three new crossovers, Aang, Zuko, and Toph. We'll just go ahead and do Egg for, for the first match. Check out the different colors. I bet you guys didn't even think about the different colors. It totally changes how he looks. To be honest, I like his default color the best just because it's how he normally looks in the show, but it's kind of cool to see him in other colors as well. Oh, black is awesome. I think I'm just going to go default colors though if I can. Oh, it won't let me. I do actually have to pick a color. Uh, in that case, Skyforge, I guess. Oh, look at the air. So cool, guys. Let's check out the new map. Now, if you haven't watched the show or you don't know anything about Avatar, basically there's four kingdoms. There's earthbenders, firebenders, waterbenders, airbenders, and uh, there's an avatar who can control all four elements, right? There's only one avatar at a time, and when the avatar dies, the spirit goes into the next avatar. So in the series, Aang is the avatar, and he's an airbender, but he eventually learns how to do all the different elements. Oh, this is team 3v3, cool. So in Brahalla, you can see Aang actually, boom, he does earthbending, he does, there's his avatar state. I'm just showing off the SIGs and no one cares. We got the airbending. <laughs> These guys are cool. All right, let's, let's get some KOs. I want to show off the stuff, but I also want to win the game. You know what I mean? And I just killed myself. Okay, guys, that was a bad start. They're all laughing at me. It's okay. I have Appa. I don't care. Let's check out the uh, gauntlets. So we have the water earth. I want to hit with it so we can see what it actually does. Boom. Water, earth, and fire. All in one side sig. The neutral sig on gauntlets is kind of just an air attack. And then the down sig is water. These guys are all just chilling. They're happy to just be playing. They don't even want to fight. <laughs> Except for Sir Roland. He wants to fight. This is basically just free-for-all, but with 3v3. It's kind of cool. Bye-bye, Roland. You did! I gotta, I gotta come back and actually get some points. I kind of killed myself earlier, so... I need to redeem myself. We're gonna play some 1v1s after this. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna play some 1v1s. And I am gonna play all the Avatar skins. We gotta kill Roland though. No, oh, he got by us. I feel bad. Oh wait, it's not free for all. You actually do have stocks. Oh, okay. Bye bye, Roland. <laughs> we got Appa. We got uh, Bobo. We got Egg. We got everybody. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. We have to. Uh, we have to win three v one like this. <laughs> GG. GG. Well played. All right. So that was the new map. I just wanted to show you guys that. Now let's go ahead and play some one v one strikeout, so we can play all three of these. So we already showed off Ang. So let's start it out with uh, Prince Zuko. 
they just call him Zuko here, but he is referred to as Prince Zuko throughout the show. And then Toph. The weapons are kind of uh, boring on Toph, not gonna lie. Uh, they actually look like metal because Toph was like the first metal bender, I'm pretty sure. Um, we didn't look at Zuko's weapons. Yeah, they're kind of lame. The sword is actually looking like what he actually used in the show, so that's okay. The spear, I don't remember. That that must just be like a firebender spear. But yeah, Toph. And then Aang, of course. Ooh, we got to pick a color. Uh, this time, how about we do Coat of Lions? It kind of looks the most like his red tattoos. All right, here we go, guys. First 1v1 with the Avatar Legends. <laughs> Zuko. <laughs> Oh man, it's so crazy seeing them in the game. It, it's just hard to believe. This is a fitting uh, Three, map, actually. Two, Look at Appa, he's just huge! We're going against uh, Sidra, so let's take a look at Zuko's signatures. The neutral thing, he does put on the blue spirit mask. I don't know what uh, Sidra's doing here. Prince Zuko does like the double swords, and as you can see in some of the signatures, he actually whips out both of the swords. And Zuko is a firebender, of course. He's a prince of the Fire Kingdom, so he's an incredibly powerful firebender. And if you have never seen the show, I don't want to spoil everything, but Zuko is kind of a bad guy who kind of becomes a good guy. That's all I'll say, but he's... He's a very complicated character. Is this? Come on, man. I want to. <laughs> what is happening? All right. Well, here's the neutral sig on spear. He does put on the blue spirit mask. Uh, down sig on spear is just so much fire. And then side sig on spear. Let's try that. Boom. All right. I think I showed all the six. Dang, that was a terrible first game. I'm like that. Whatever, dude. Gg. <laughs> Gg. Let's just let's just try again. Uh, this time we'll start it out with Toph. Go Zuko, and then uh, finish it off with Aang. And how about we do black colors? I bet you're not going to see a strikeout team of all Avatar Legends in black, all black colors. Uh, we have black colors for every single legend in the game, so we might as well show them off, right? Now, if there was ever a perfect Brahala legend for a crossover, it would be Toph for Kor. I mean, Kor literally is made of rocks. Toph is a rock bender, earth bender, rather. Uh, it just works so well. All right, hopefully this is a little more uh, interesting of a game. Toph is so cool, too. Let's look at her six. So she has the neutral sig, the side sig, the down sig, where she wears the rock armor. I'm not going to six spam all day, though. I actually do want to just play like a little bit of a normal game. Let's switch up. Let's do gauntlets. Here is Gauntlet Down Sig. Boom, we got two. Bob. Oh, that didn't hit. Side Sig. That was cool. Zoom. Neutral Sig. Oh my goodness. Shoop. Shoop. She actually uses a rock to like form a glove and then grabs. That was pretty good. Toph is actually amazing, guys. Let's be real. Ow. Hold that. Oh, no. Rock armor. Oh, my goodness. That looks so good. I love this one. I love having Toph, and I love that she does all these... Ow. Earth bending attacks so well. Ow! First death with an Avatar Legend. <laughs> but we got Prince Zuko now. Zuko ain't gonna mess around, bro. He's been through a lot. Perfect hit. Hold that. I want to get the final kill with the neutral sig. It would be amazing. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. He's actually good at dodging, though, so it might be hard. All right, no more six bam. Let's get that win. All right, guys, one more game, one more game, and this time we're going to use Aang for the first legend. 
Aang. Followed by Ta, followed by Zuko. This time, let's do... Ooh, which are the colors? Wow, look at Zuko in the different colors. You know what we didn't do? We didn't look at Toph in the different colors either. So let's do that real quick after this. Wow, look at Zuko with the pink eyes on that. Black Zuko looks really good. That fits him well, uh, red and black. White is actually really cool too. It's cool seeing him with white hair like that. Red, of course, red for fire. Yeah, Zuko looks good. But let's actually see what Toph looks like in the different colors. Toph is, uh, she's like a daughter of a wealthy Excuse me, she... Toph is like the daughter of a wealthy family, but she leaves because her family was too overprotective, basically, and they never wanted her to leave the, uh, like, estate of her, of her house. They thought because she was blind, she would be too helpless and uh, unable to take care of herself. But it was the exact opposite! She is a total boss, and she becomes one of the most powerful people in the entire series, so... Ooh, he's got Toph as well, but we have all three. All right, let's play some Aang 1v1. I know what you guys are probably thinking. Some of you are out there thinking, three, why does two, Wuxiang one, have another crossover? I totally understand, I get it, but at the same time, it just makes sense for Aang to be Wuxiang, so. Okay, Toph. Toph versus Aang. This is crazy. Bro. If Aang loses to Toph, that would be so sad. Cannot let it happen. Toph is one of the most powerful earthbenders, but Aang is the master of all four elements. The coolest move is Aang's side zig. Air, water, and earth. Though he doesn't use, or maybe it's, it's water, earth, and then fire. He doesn't even use air on the side zig, but it's so cool. Also this move, the down sig where he enters the avatar state. Oh, that's game. Never mind. Nope, that's game. All right, well, Aang three sock. No surprise. Aang is kind of an uh, absolute legend. But wow, guys, I hate that. I literally am getting like emotional just ending the video. Like this whole video, I've been kind of emotional. I don't know why. It's just we've been we've been with Brahalla for so long since it was literally like nobody had heard of it. And now look at it. It's just come so far through ups and downs. It's just it's been a big part of my life the past five years. And to see Avatar, one of my favorite shows, enter Brahalla, it's just amazing. Let me know if you guys like the video in the comments. Definitely like the video if you enjoy Brawlhalla and Avatar. And uh, yeah, guys, look out for those codes. I'm going to be dropping some today and in the future for these Avatar Legends. This is Lucian Sword. It was my pleasure to make this video for you guys. Take it easy, friends.